The good news for Alexis Sanchez and Romelu Lukaku was that they were in the team. The bad news was that it was FA Cup third round weekend when Manchester United's best players traditionally take a break. That said, they both made their impact felt. Lukaku will leave best pleased with a goal, 90 minutes under his belt and his first start under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Sanchez limped off with a muscle strain after 63 minutes having made his mark with the assist for Lukaku's goal. And he did at least look engaged, which hasn't always been the case in his short United career. Match facts, player ratings in match zone Manchester United Zai. 4-3-3, Romero, Dalit, Darmian, Jones, Young, Fred, Delaney 62, McTominay, Andreas Pereira, Mata, Chong 62, Lukaku, Sanchez, Rashford 64 subs not used, Lindelof, Marshall, Grant, Garner booked, Chong goals, Mata Pan 22, Lukaku 45 plus 4 R-E-A-D-I-N-G's I, Jacola, Yadam, Tiago Alori, Aluko 45, Moore, Richards, Kelly, Rinam Hoda, McCleary, Barrow 61, Swift, Harriet, Meite 76, Loader subs not used, Gunter, O'Shea, Walker, Eastbrook, Yaya Emery Free, Stewart Atwell but though Solskjaer equaled Sir Matt Busby's start as a United manager with five consecutive wins, it wasn't an afternoon for harking back to glory days. The sixth against Tottenham, will tell us an awful lot more for this was very much the second string of United. And the arresting point was that so few of these United reserves are youngsters and so many are older players waiting for expensive contracts to end. That was a better indication of the task United have ahead of them and what Solskjaer and his successor have to change still, they negotiated a potentially troublesome hurdle comfortably with the help of VAR, but also some wasteful finishing from Reading, who for a team in managerial flux, having recently appointed Jose Gomez and without a win in 10 games, were surprisingly competitive. That said, their end product was perhaps a truer reflection of their position, one of the bottom of the championship. If Andy Yadam could have kept his head on 17 minutes rather than snapping at his finish from Gareth McCleary's cross and sending it high and wide, they might have taken the lead. that came three minutes before United did so. Fred did well to get his foot up and touch a ball through to Juan Mata, who turned it back to Fred. As he did so, Omar Richards clumsily upended him. Meanwhile, Fred was turning the ball into the back of the net only to see the assistant referee's flag raised for offside. No matter, referee Stuart Atwell was consulting with the video referee over the Mata trip and after a long consultation awarded the penalty, which Mata dispatched decisively. Yet the chance of the half was yet to come for reading on 33 minutes when Callum Harriet, breaking quickly down the right, played in Danny Loader. Rather than shoot, the 18-year-old elected to take the ball around Sergio Romero and saw his angle diminish and his big moment dissipate as the ball was squeezed out for a corner. But, still, Harriet would shoot white on 32 minutes and Yadam's strike from Harriet's cross on 45 minutes required a sharp save from Romero.
Eventually, though the heavyweights came good. It was Sanchez's lovely ball three minutes into first half injury time which released Lukaku. The Belgian had timed his run perfectly to beat offside and connect. Then he did the thing at which he is so adept. He looked as though he had overrun the ball a little, enticing keeper Ansi Jacola to think he might get there. Just as the keeper closed in, Lukaku stuck out a toe, touched it past him, and finished from a tight angle. At 2-0 the game ought to have been over. Yt even then, Reading contrived to stay in it. Jose Gomez, continuing his baptism of fire after a brutal Christmas period, made a tactical switch in bringing on Sona Luco, brother of Ini, at halftime. And a Luco Amlist opened United up on 48 minutes, his quick feet and neat pass playing in Harriet, who had saw his clear striker on goal blocked by Romero. But it was evidence again that United were hardly an impregnable force. Solskjaer even changed briefly to a diamond formation to prevent the championship strugglers dominating possession. But the introduction of Merawain Fellaini, Marcus Rashford and especially Tanif Chong saw the formation revert back to 4-3-3 and the mood switch briefly in United's favour. The debut for the 19-year-old Dutchman, born in the Dutch Caribbean, with his distinctive flowing hair, lifted Old Trafford. This was a textbook Alex Ferguson move, blooding a youngster to change the dynamic of the crowd and thus, hopefully, the game. Chan looked briefly exciting and picked up a yellow card, but in reality the game was playing out to a predictable conclusion. <laughs>